In a daring announcement, scientists have claimed to have discovered a new planet unlike anything previously known. NASA, renowned for its groundbreaking findings, has revealed that this planet is fascinating not only because of its size and location, but also because it displays light that appears to be artificial. This revelation raises profound questions. Are we on the verge of uncovering secrets that could transform our understanding of the universe? Could this discovery indicate the existence of life on other planets? By exploring NASA's remarkable findings, we may soon uncover the truth about these extraordinary lights. In 2007, NASA launched the Dawn spacecraft with a mission to explore some of the most intriguing objects in our solar system. Equipped with three ion engines, Dawn embarked on a journey that began with a 14-month study of Vesta, the second largest asteroid in the asteroid belt. Dawn sent back detailed images and data, revealing Vesta's complex surface and diverse geological history. After completing its mission at Vesta, Dawn began the second and perhaps most exciting part of its journey, a detailed study of the dwarf planet Ceres. Thanks to its ion engines, Dawn was able to leave Vesta's orbit and head towards Ceres, something traditional chemical propulsion would not have allowed. These engines provided a gentle yet continuous thrust that allowed Dawn to travel great distances and enter a stable orbit around Ceres. Discovered in 1801 by Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi, Ceres is the largest object in the asteroid belt, between Mars and Jupiter. For many years it was considered the smallest dwarf planet in our solar system until its reclassification in 2006. With a diameter of approximately 950 kilometers, Ceres is both the largest and most massive body in the asteroid belt and one of the most fascinating because of its unique characteristics. Scientists eagerly awaited the first detailed images of this mysterious world, which revealed bright spots scattered across its surface, especially in a large crater known as Okator. These bright spots immediately sparked interest and speculation within the scientific community. Before dawn, the best image we had of Ceres was a blurry, low-resolution photograph taken by the Hubble Space Telescope. Very little was known about this dwarf planet, and the promise of close-up observations hinted at groundbreaking discoveries. The Dawn mission aimed to improve our understanding of the formation of the solar system and the role of water in the development of planetary bodies. The bright spots on Ceres, similar to those observed on other asteroids, could be composed of highly reflective material, possibly salts left behind by sublimated water. This discovery suggested the possibility of cryovolcanism on Ceres, a process in which volcanoes erupt liquid water or brine instead of molten rock. But what exactly are these mysterious lights? And what do they reveal about the nature of Ceres? Could they be evidence of ongoing geological activity or something even more extraordinary? Ceres stands out from other bodies in the asteroid belt due to its size, mass, composition, and potential to contain water and ice. Unlike typically rocky asteroids, Ceres has a more comet-like composition suggesting it could reveal secrets about the early solar system. After two years in transit, the Dawn spacecraft finally began its approach to Ceres in early 2015, marking a significant milestone as it prepared to deliver the first close-up views of the largest object in the asteroid belt. As Dawn drew nearer, images of Ceres became increasingly detailed, revealing a world previously hidden in mystery. The first images showed a cratered surface, indicative of a long history of impacts. However, what truly captured the attention of scientists and space enthusiasts alike were the mysterious bright spots on its dark, rocky terrain. As image resolution improved, the scientific community proposed several theories regarding the nature of these bright spots. Were they patches of ice reflecting sunlight? Or were they something even more exotic? Speculations ranged from mineral deposits to signs of cryovolcanic activity. To everyone's surprise, closer inspection revealed that the brightest spot was not a single entity, but a cluster of several distinct spots. The most widely accepted hypothesis is that these are deposits of salt left behind by the sublimation of water. This suggests that Ceres had, or still has, some form of geological Activity capable of bringing water or brine to the surface, where it rapidly evaporates and leaves behind bright, reflective residues.
These findings challenged existing assumptions about Ceres and painted a picture of a more dynamic and complex world than previously imagined. The possibility of groundwater or brine pockets within Ceres could have profound implications for our understanding of potential life in the solar system. Ceres is often described as an icy world with a rocky yet porous surface. Unlike most asteroids composed primarily of rocks and metals, Ceres is notable for its unique composition. Its surface is a mixture of water ice and hydrated minerals, including clays and carbonates, that give it a lower density compared to its rocky neighbors. This composition indicates that Ceres contains a significant amount of water. Its surface layer is rocky but porous, with ice and other volatile substances trapped inside, making it more like a comet than a typical asteroid. The dwarf planet is believed to have a distinct internal structure, consisting of a muddy mantle and a core rich in water ice, which accounts for approximately 50% of Ceres's total volume. Its mantle is likely a combination of rock and brine, surrounding a core possibly made up of denser materials like silicates. The presence of substantial water ice suggests that Ceres may have hosted liquid water in the past, especially if the core was heated by radioactive decay early in its history. This internal structure sets Ceres apart from neighboring asteroids and raises compelling questions about its geological activity and the role water played in its evolution. Moreover, the discovery of ammonia-bearing clays on Ceres suggests that the dwarf planet may have formed in a colder region of the solar system and later migrated inward. Ammonia can lower the freezing point of water, which supports the existence of briny liquids on the surface. These insights into the composition and history of Ceres not only deepen our understanding of this remarkable dwarf planet, but also offer valuable clues about the formation and evolution of icy bodies throughout the solar system. Cryovolcanism is a fascinating and relatively rare geological process, especially when compared to the more familiar volcanic activity on Earth. Unlike traditional volcanoes that erupt molten rock, cryovolcanoes, often called ice volcanoes, release materials such as water, ammonia, or methane. These substances can remain in liquid or gaseous form in the extreme cold environments where cryovolcanoes are found, such as on Ceres. On Ceres, cryovolcanoes function by allowing briny water to reach the surface. When this salty liquid contacts the vacuum of space, it rapidly sublimates, transitioning directly from a solid or liquid to a gas, leaving behind bright reflective salt deposits. These salt residues account for the mysterious bright spots observed on Ceres. The most famous of these is located in a crater called a cater, specifically within a region known as Cerealia facula. This area has drawn significant attention because of its high reflectivity and the presence of periodic hazes observed by the Dawn spacecraft. These hazes are thought to be caused by water sublimation, indicating that cryovolcanic activity may still be ongoing or occurred relatively recently. In addition to a cater, Ceres features several other bright spots, each with its own distinct characteristics. These spots are scattered across the dwarf planet's surface, suggesting that cryovolcanism may be widespread. The presence of these bright areas underscores the dynamic and active nature of Ceres, challenging prior assumptions. That it was a geologically inactive world, has the Dawn spacecraft provided more detailed images of Ceres, a wide variety of surface features began to emerge, its surface is dotted with numerous craters, each offering clues to Ceres's complex and intriguing history. Let me know what you think in the comments section. If you enjoyed this exploration, don't forget to like and subscribe.